Let's learn how to validate a Flutter form. First, let's start a new Flutter project. We need to declare a global key variable. In Flutter, the global key class is used to uniquely identify a widget across the widget tree. It allows us to reference and manipulate the state of a specific widget, such as a form, from anywhere within our widget hierarchy. To access and manipulate the state of a form from different parts of our code base, we can use a global key form state. So, let's return a form widget in the build method and assign its key attribute to the global key variable we declared. Next, create a column widget and add form fields inside it. You can also add padding if desired. Inside the column, include an email field, a password field, and a submit button. For the email field, we can provide a validator function named validate email. To create the validate email function, we define it with a return type of string and a value parameter representing the field value. In this function, we check if there is a value in the field. If not, we return an error message. To simplify the email validation, we can use the email validator package. To install the package, copy the dependency from the package repository and paste it into the pubspec.yaml file. Then run pubgit to fetch the package. Import the email validator package in the main.dart file. Finally, we can use the email validator in the validate email function to check if the email is valid. At the end of the function, return null. Similarly, you can create a validator function for the password field. Now, let's move on to creating a submit function. We can use the form key.current state validate function to validate the form. Run the app to see the validation in action. Thank you for watching.